explanation on my stereo camera obscura project Yama. Yama is a stereo camera through the eyes of a five-year-old Tibetan monk skull and I created the project to study exodus and photograph Tibetan monks in exile and also to do a photo series of what I think modern incarnation of deities and icons would look like today. The camera project's named after the Tibetan god Yama. Uh, you'll find Yama in the Tibetan Book of the Dead. He's the deity in the second house after you die who's seen all of your life. And he drops a black stone for your bad deeds, a white one for your good deeds, and that is your tally for your lifetime. And pretty much predicts on where you'll be reincarnated. Yama's eyes are the lenses for the stereoscopic camera. A divider runs down the middle of the camera inside the skull all the way to the aluminum base. This is creating two separate pinhole cameras. Film is loaded into the film port by flipping a switch under the jaw that activates two pneumatic pistons that are fed by an air tank that holds about 300 psi in the middle of the skull. Film is loaded into the side hit the switch again to close the film chamber and the pistons will put about eight pounds of pressure onto the film holder to locking it into place to make sure there's no light leaks. Because there's two separate cameras it'll make two separate images through each eye on one sheet of 4 by 5 film and the distance between the two eyes is what's going to give it the stereoscopic effect. To make an exposure I calculate the film speed the aperture of the pupils and the lighting with a light meter and I could calculate out on how quick the exposure will be. Sometimes the exposures will go from a couple seconds up to 20 minutes depending on the light. To make the exposure I'll pull the dark slide to expose the film and then just close it again to end the exposure. And then I'll swap the film out with a uh, unexposed film by flipping the switch again to release the film. On the other side of the camera is where the air is filled into the air tank to power the pneumatic system. On the back of this camera is the rest of the human skull and is a viewing system so that the images that are seen through Yama's eyes can be seen in the back of the skull. A contact print is mounted on a copper plate and inserted into the back of the skull and seen through the viewer so it can be seen in 3D. Both these images were shot at the same time through each one of Yama's eyes and they're offset about three and a quarter inches which is kind of the normal distance between human eyes pupils. So this gives a uh, 3D effect with that offset and gives the perception of depth. The plate is then inserted into the slot in the back of the skull and it turns on two lights that are mounted on the inside of the skull. When viewed through the, the viewer, the image can be seen in 3D. And these are photos of Yama working in Old Town, Montreal, where we did a photo shoot about two years ago. The photo shoot we did in Montreal was at Saint Marguerite Bourgeois. She was uh, the first female saint of Montreal. And this is a 30 by 36 gelatin silver print from that shoot. This is from another Yama shoot of my interpretation of the modern incarnation of the Hindu god Brahma. 
The Hindu Goddess Kali. Saint Anne and the Virgin Mary. And when I show in galleries or museums, the camera and the photos are all equal. They're all part of one installation dedicated to the subject. This is an installation that I had at a uh, museum in Shreve Court in 2012. Some of the other features of the camera are the Asian turquoise that's inlaid in the skull, uh, Australian opal that's around the bindi, sterling silver bindi with rubies and sapphires. Sapphires from Sri Lanka set in silver. Turquoise from Kingman, Arizona. Opals inlaid into the bone throughout the camera. Vintage counter beads from a Tibetan mala. The eyes I did lost wax castings. The pupils themselves are 999.9% pure gold with sterling eyeballs and then bronze eyelids. Also, by hitting the toggle switch underneath the jaw to open up the film chamber, the back of the skull moves back and exposes the Hindu god Brahma, who is in the middle of the skull, and I put him at the pineal gland, which I thought was appropriate, especially for a god of creation. All of the metalwork on Yama I do by hand, on mills, lathes, and I use conventional machinist techniques from the past. Nothing is CNC cut or computer aided in the making of all the parts. The materials that make up the rest of Yama range from aircraft aluminum, copper, steel, stainless steel, bronze, brass, silver, gold, and uh, all the bolts actually are all titanium. And that's the Tibetan Exodus camera project, Yama. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask by going to boyofblue.com. Thank you.